Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create an LED logo animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, make sure to add a logo to work with. And as you see here, I have this comp and a logo inside here. So let's duplicate this comp and then we're going to choose alpha and vert matte. So as you see, we got these outlines here with transparency on it. So we're going to pre-compose these two comps and let's rename this to outlines and hit OK. And I'm going to add the Vegas effect here. And if you want to know more about what you can do with this effect, make sure to watch the previous tutorials. And now let's go to image contour and zero out threshold and tolerance as well. And as you see, we got something like this. And all length, we're going to put there 0 0.1. And as you see, we got these dots around the outlines. And so on blend mode, we're going to choose here transparent. So we only get these dots. And as you see here, we have a nice distribution. But on this area, we have this problem here. It doesn't look similar to other dots distribution. And to make this look right, so we're going to fix this on uh, sure contours. So we need to choose here fewer segments. And then we're going to crank up segments here to the maximum. And as you see, uh, it look right now. And so we got another problem here. We got dots around the edge here. So to fix that, we need to add a mask. So we're just going to add a mask here and then add it to the effect. So now we don't have that problem and we can add animation to this. So on rotation, we're going to add a keyframe there and then another one right here and put there 10. So it's going to animate slowly. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you see, this look pretty cool. So now we're going to pre-compose this and let's rename these outlines logo and move all attributes and hit OK. And so now we need to create a background to this. So let's create a new solid and let's rename this grid. And then we're going to apply Venetian's blinds here and add fill. And on transition, if you play with this, you can see what we got here. So I'm going to put this to 99 and change direction to 90. So we have uh, horizontal lines here. And so I'm going to control D to duplicate these. Let's solo actual these lines here. For the second one, I'm going to apply roughen edges and nothing happened when you apply this, but I'm going to choose type uh, spiky here and borders to 1.5 and complexity to three. So you can see now what's going on here. Let's add some sharpness to the edge. And so we got something like this and we can add glow here if we want to. So let's put there 10, five, just a very solid glow here. And then we're going to animate this. So on offset turbulence, we're going to add a keyframe there. And at the end, we're going to just offset that. So we're going to get this animation straightforward. And then we're going to pre-compose this. Let's rename this grid and hit OK. And then we're going to apply another solid here and apply to it fractal noise so we want to create variation on that grid so let's scale that up a little bit and just actually play with this just to get something different and we're going to add fast box blur and repeat edges and let's blur that and so maybe we can we get something like this and add animation to the evolution. 
times times 10. So basically something just like this, nothing fancy here. And then I'm going to choose a Luma map. So we're going to get something like this. And then we're going to pre-compose and I'll rename this grid texture. And so now we have this setup. And so we want to create a logo fill to this. So we're going to duplicate this grid and add our logo holder comp here. And let's pre-compose this and let's rename this logo fill and open this comp and let's put this grid right in the bottom and then choose here alpha so we have it just right there as you can see here and then we're going to add a new camera here and a new null object and then let's make them 3d here and let's link the camera to the null here and let's get a nice view here and as you see everything is flat right now so maybe we're going to get something like this that's fine for now and then we need to stylize this to make it look very interesting so i'm going to duplicate this outlines logo Control d and hit b for position and let's put the position z to five and we're going to add fast box blur here let's put there five and so we're going to actually add now a new adjustment layer and this is going to be glow and we just need it to be for the outlines logo so we're going to apply glow here and let's put there 10 and duplicate that and this one let's put there 60 and 600 so we got something like this and basically we want to change the color here so let's apply fill and add a nice red here with the same kind of color and copy that fill and paste it for the other one so we have something like this and we can actually apply glow on grid as well and this one need to be very subtle here Point two and lower the opacity to maybe 50 something like that maybe just 40 here and let's actually put the camera to the front and add a mask to the grid here and mm to reveal the mask feather here and let's feather that just like that and so we have a nice feather there and so we're going to change its position as well let's put there to the z10 and now we're going to add some depth to this so let's add a new solid and let's rename this fog and apply fractal noise here and we're going to create some fractals here and we're going to choose turbulent smooth and spline and then we're going to apply fast box blur and blur that as well maybe complexity to two or three and going to change overflow to soft clam and then i'm going to add tent effect and put that to red as well and then just going to put it on add and maybe make it 3d and just make this bigger and piece so maybe five or even more so you can already tell it's add a little bit of depth there and so and now we need to add some nice depth of field here so we're going to create an adjustment layer let's rename this to doff and apply camera lens blur here and then here i have few maps already created they are straightforward to create here i have created a ramp just animate this way and here i have a mask animated here 
scene for this one, just mask path. You can animate it here in black and white. So let's add this one here. Turn it off and on Camera Line Explorer, we're going to assign that map here. Let's change radius here to 30. And you already can see what's going on here. And let's add some highlights here. You can tell that it's add a little bit. And here, if you want to invert that map or play with its focal distance, so we can leave that. And here you can choose how the shape of this iris looks. So maybe we're going to leave it as it is now. And because this is animating this map, it's going to animate this. Uh, let's preview this and we're going to preview this at half res. So as you see, it looked pretty cool. And maybe here you can see that it doesn't look right that just because we are previewing this as half res. So, and now what we can do basically is uh, make these look better. So we can add here some lens flares here. So I have a few here. So uh, maybe we're going to go for this one here. And so let's add this and let's add basically the tents effect so i'm just going to copy this tint effect and then just add it here and so we're going to put that to add and you can already see that's add a little bit more depth there so let's put that to 15 maybe and we also we can add camera depth of field here uh, to blend with that if we want to add more uh, cell looking there so we just need to play with it to get a nice result there. So I'm going to turn off that. And then I'm going to add a new adjustment layer so I can recolor things by applying hue and saturation to this and then choose the color you want and then add a noise effect to add that texture to the whole thing. And of course, we don't forget about the camera animation. So that's just up to you and how you want to animate your camera. So that's straightforward to do. And so that was the tutorial today and hope it was very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching.